Hello everyone. This is Arun Franklin and welcome to my YouTube channel PharmaZeneca. Today I am going to discuss about the various departments in pharmaceutical industry. Here is a list of departments in a pharma company. We can divide these departments into core departments and supporting departments. Let me discuss about what actually these departments will do and their role in a pharmaceutical industry. Let me start with the finance department. As like any other business, finance is the main element to run the pharmaceutical industry. These finance department will manage the company's cash flow, the budgets and forecasting of the company, uh, the taxes they will manage and the company's investments, the financial reporting and analysis. So this finance department is responsible to manage the funds and cash flows in each and every aspect to run the pharmaceutical business successfully. The next department is the business development. This team is responsible for the growth of business. They will have the new business deals by coordinating the customer requirements. They will have a strategic relationship with the customers and they will have the developing and negotiating contracts with the customers. The next department is formulation R&D. We can call it as F&D. All the multinational companies and the Indian MNCs will have this department. The main responsibility of this department is the drug development and drug discovery. They will do research and innovate the new formulation through different technologies and the different formulations which is approved they will prepare into master formula record. The next department is technology transfer. We can also call it as technology absorption group. The main responsibility of the technology transfer team is to perform exhibit batch or pilot batch. We can also call it as a scale up batch. As I already discussed, once the new formulation which has been developed in a lab scale by R&D team has been approved, this technology transfer team will collect MFR from the R&D team and they will prepare the BMR and BPR for the scale-up batch or exhibit batch that is from lab scale convert into higher batch size that is scale-up batch or the exhibit batch. After three successful exhibit batch or the pilot batch they will load the samples for stability and the results will be filed to ANDA that is abbreviated new drug application. The next department is regulatory affairs. The main aim of the regulatory affairs department is to obtain approval for new pharmaceutical product and ensuring that approval is maintained as long as the company wants to keep the product in market. They are responsible to file the regulatory bodies about the different uh, formulations they have prepared in different countries so that they will get the approvals from different regulatory bodies so that they can sell their drugs or the farm medicines in the respective countries. The next department is PPIC Production Planning and Inventory Control. We can also call this department as SCM that is Supply Chain Management. They are responsible to create the master production schedules and manufacturing orders, forecasting inventory requirements, reviewing sale forecast and customer demands. They will control the inventory of raw materials to be procured into finished goods, scheduling production batches based on the inventory levels and production time. The next department is the warehouse. We can also call this department as stores. The main responsibility of this department is to receive and store the raw materials and packing materials which are used in manufacturing and packing of the medicinal products at different required storage conditions. 
they will issue the raw materials and packing materials to the production team whenever they will receive the approved process order for the batch manufacturing they will do dispensing of the raw materials and packaging materials and their main responsibility is to store the raw materials and packaging materials at the specific required storage conditions the responsibility of the production department is to carry out the production activities that is the manufacturing and the packing of the medicinal products as per the production plan they will get the plan from the business development and through ppic team they will maintain the online documentation related to the production activities like batch manufacturing records batch packing records log books and the daily records the next department is quality control their main responsibility is the sampling of raw materials and packing materials apart from that they will analyze the quality of each and every batch in all the stages of the manufacturing processing and inspection and testing as per the approved specification once the batch has been successfully analyzed they will release the batch and they will provide the coa which is called the certificate of analysis let's see about the qa department the main responsibility is to implement and ensure the quality system has been followed at each and every stage of manufacturing of the medicinal product they will handle the change control deviations and they will perform investigations for the market complaint the deviations etc they will finally release the drug product into distribution and for marketing and sale qa is responsible for batch record review and the qa is the main role of the qa is to approve all the documents in a pharma industry they will make the decisions in case of any quality event and they will perform internal quality audits and they will handle the market complaint which is received from the market let's look into ehs team that is environment health and safety team so the main role of safety department to ensure the safety in each and every stage of manufacturing of the pharmaceutical drug as you are aware that the pharma industry is having the big machineries for the manufacturing and packing so each and every one who is operating the machine should have the thorough knowledge how to operate the equipments with safety so the main aim of ehs team is ensuring the safety in each and every aspect of the manufacturing of drug the next department is the engineering department their main role is the designing building and improving the manufacturing facilities that produce the drugs the engineering department have different sub departments like the electrical the production engineering instrumentation the utility and the civil team next department is the information technology department since we are using lot of softwares and applications in the pharma industry the it department will handle and manage the hardwares and different softwares the hr department is responsible for the recruitments the trainings and the people management in a pharma industry the last but not the least department in the pharmaceutical industry is the marketing department the marketing department plays a major role in developing brands for the pharmaceutical company they will ensure the drug product distribution in the market so even though pharmaceutical companies will manufacture the drugs and they will keep in the fg stores the same product should be sold to the different parts of country so the marketing team plays a vital role in selling the drugs in the market thanks for watching this video if you like this video please press the bell icon share with your friends and colleagues and please don't forget to subscribe this channel pharma zenika